Hey guys, how's it going? It's just Jess, and today I'm going to be showing you guys, well, I'm literally just going to be putting random things into slime. I have tested other people's slimes and tested different slime theories, and now I just want to test my own theories. I randomly saw things around my room and I was like, huh, I wonder what that would be like in slime. So I'm going to be starting out by making just a basic fluffy slime, and then I'm going to be separating that into three separate slimes, just so that we can add the different ingredients to each of them. So first things first, just gonna add a bottle of glue. Once you got your glue, I'm gonna be adding a teaspoon of borax to a cup of hot water. Alright, then we're gonna go back to our glue and we're gonna add some shaving cream. Now this is kinda optional on how much you wanna add depending on how fluffy you want it. I'm gonna add about a cup's worth. And then you're gonna mix these up. Alright, so once you think they're pretty evenly mixed, you're just going to slowly add your borax solution in, just a little at a time, until it gets to about the consistency that you want. Alright, so now that mine's seeming pretty sticky, I'm going to actually go ahead and take it out of the bowl and just use my hands. Alright, so once you have your desired consistency, should, should be something like that, you know, not sticking to your hands too much, but still very flexible. I'm going to go ahead and split this, like I said, into three different groups and set two of them aside. Now just to tell them apart, which, I mean, you're going to be able to anyways because they're going to have different ingredients in them. But I'm going to add a little bit of paint to each one, just, you know, to spice it up a bit. So now that I have my three separate slimes, I'm going to go ahead and set two of these aside. And, honestly, <laughs> this is going to sound weird, but my first idea for adding something to slime is literal tissue paper. Now, I know that sounds stupid and ridiculous, but I feel like it's going to have a really unique and kind of like interesting texture to it. I don't know. So, we're just going to try it. And I am going to shred it up a bit first, just because I feel like it'll be more like flexible that way. Alright, here we go. Alright, so now we're just going to fold it on up and kind of just see what happens, I guess. Alright, so not much is changing yet, so I'm going to add some more, obviously. I'm really hoping this does something, like something maybe kind of cool. But, like I said, we're going to find out. I'm pretty much just covering the top layer with it and then folding it and we're going from there. Hmm, interesting. So we've almost put an entire tissue in there and yet once you start kneading it back together you can almost tell no difference. It's getting a little bit lumpy but that's about it. I'm gonna start putting like longer strips in there and see if that changes anything. Not really. <laughs> Alright, I pretty much have the entire thing wrapped in tissue paper now. <laughs> this is the third piece of tissue paper that I'm sticking in here. So far, much really hasn't changed. And if it still hasn't changed after this one, I'm gonna just call it quits there. Alright, so <laughs> it's a bit of a fail because it honestly barely did anything, which is so surprising to me. I mean, it makes it a little bit lumpy and it's kind of like less flexible. It's a little bit like stiffer, but I'm surprised it didn't have more of an effect than that. Oh well. Now if you uh, ever uh, thought about putting tissue paper in your slime, uh, now you know what it does. <laughs> Alright, so the next one is a much simpler one. It's literally just adding sprinkles, but I'm very excited to see like what that does. Just because, like, I feel like it's almost like a hack. It could be, instead of using like, um, like glitter, 
You can use sprinkles and it might make it smell good. But I guess we're going to find out if it actually works or not. So as far as these little silver sprinkles go, it's not like that cool. I mean, it's pretty much like if you added like beads almost. It doesn't really quite have the same effect as glitter, even though it is sparkly sprinkles. Definitely doesn't have the same effect. And it is kind of making the slime a bit stickier. And <laughs> I keep flinging sprinkles everywhere because of it. So maybe don't try that technique. But I'm actually gonna try and put different sprinkles in here and see if that is any better. So the other type of sprinkles I have are these little little star shapes. So I figured these ones will look pretty cool in here if they, you know, actually don't make it completely more sticky. All right, yeah, so these actually look pretty cool. Like this, this is a pretty cute slime. It's got like little stars in it. I actually do like this one. Um, yeah, I, I again would say stay away from the other ones because this definitely did get way more sticky than I thought it would just because of the sprinkles. And actually now that I'm, oh I keep fleeing sprinkles everywhere as well. Um, as I'm mixing this, some of the like coloring from the stars is actually coming off a little bit. Not a huge amount, but yeah I guess it doesn't really make that huge of a difference. But I actually think this is kind of cute, like with the little stars in it. It's like a night sky, or like... Well, it's pretty bright to be a nice guy, but still, it's cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually using my pink slime now <laughs> to get rid of the sticky blue slime. But hey, there's a hack. Like, if you ever want to make your slime less sticky, just add tissue paper, because this works great as a little cleaner upper. All right, so last but not least, I'm going to try something very strange. And I'm going to take this candle, and I'm actually going to go ahead and grate it on top of the slime. I think this will actually give it a smooth feeling as well as make it deliciously scented. All right, so here we go. <laughs> All right, it does smell really good, I have to say. So this is pretty cool, it does make it smell nice. The only issue is that it does kind of, it's, it's a little bit clumpy, the shavings are. And I, I don't know why I thought that they would blend in here well, because they definitely don't. <laughs> so I mean, if you like textured slime, then this could be awesome for you. Um, if you don't, then I would steer away from it, because it definitely <laughs> has a bunch of little, little shavings in there, and you can definitely feel them. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more, just for the heck of it. Alright, so I've gone ahead and added a bunch more shavings. This is uh, about how much I used of the candle itself. But um, I guess I would, I would describe the texture as like wood shavings, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, like that's what it feels like. It feels like, like wood shavings. There's nothing else I can use to describe it. It's not a bad feeling, it's just like unique. Um, yeah, I don't mind it at all. It's just very interesting. It's definitely different than any slime I've ever felt before. Um, the main problem that I found with this one is that, you know, as you're stretching it, a lot of the shavings do kind of fall out of it. But I think that pretty much happens with kind of any slime that you add stuff to. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, this one's not bad. I kind of like the way it makes it look. Like, it's a nice purple slime with, like, darker purple flakes in it. I think that looks pretty. Um, as far as the smell goes, it doesn't really smell that different, to be honest, just because the scent of the shaving cream is so overpowering. Um, but if you were to not make this a fluffy slime and not have the shaving cream, I'm sure that you probably would be able to smell it, and that would be pretty cool. But yeah, that is all I'm going to test out for today. Um, none of these, unfortunately, were really that cool. I think this one is probably my favorite out of all of them. 
The blue one looked really cool. I just wish that it wasn't so sticky. I don't know why, but the sprinkles really do make it sticky. Um, but yeah, so this one I think is pretty cool. But if you liked the video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want me to do any more, like, just testing random things in slime. I'd definitely be glad to give pretty much anything a try. Um, and subscribe for more videos similar to this one. Um, also, don't forget to hit that little bell icon just so that you're notified whenever I upload a video. And, of course, all my social media links are in the description below. So, without further ado, that is the end of the video. Again, I hope you guys liked it. And I will see you guys next week.